The Vickers hardness test was developed in 1921 by Robert L. Smith and George E. Sandland at Vickers Limited as an alternative to the Brunel method to measure the hardness of materials. The Vickers test is often easier to use than other hardness tests since the required calculations are independent of the size of the indenter, and the indenter can be used for all materials irrespective of hardness. The basic principle, as with all common measures of hardness, is to observe the questioned material's ability to resist plastic deformation from a standard source. The Vickers test can be used for all metals and has one of the widest scales among hardness tests. The unit of hardness given by the test is known as the Vickers pyramid number HV or diamond pyramid hardness DPH. The hardness number can be converted into units of pascals, but should not be confused with pressure, which uses the same units. The hardness number is determined by the load over the surface area of the indentation and not the area normal to the force, and is therefore not pressure. Implementation It was decided that the indenter shape should be capable of producing geometrically similar impressions, irrespective of size, the impression should have well-defined points of measurement, and the indenter should have high resistance to self-deformation. A diamond in the form of a square-based pyramid satisfied these conditions. It had been established that the ideal size of a Brunel impression was three-eighths of the ball diameter. As two tangents to the circle at the ends of a chord 3D, 8 long intersect at 136 degrees, it was decided to use this as the included angle between plane faces of the indenter tip. This gives an angle from each face normal to the horizontal plane normal of 22 degrees on each side. The angle was varied experimentally and it was found that the hardness value obtained on a homogeneous piece of material remained constant, irrespective of load. Accordingly, loads of various magnitudes are applied to a flat surface, depending on the hardness of the material to be measured. The HV number is then determined by the ratio F, A, where F is the force applied to the diamond in kilograms force and A is the surface area of the resulting indentation in square millimeters. A can be determined by the formula A equals D 2 2 sin 136 2 display style a equals frac d caret 2 2 sin 136 caret circ 2 which can be approximated by evaluating the sign term to give a approximately equals d 2 1.8544 display style a approximately frac d caret 2 1 8544 where d is the average length of the diagonal left by the indenter in millimeters. Hence, h v equals f a approximately equals 1.8544 f d 2 kilogram force per millimeter 2 Display style H V equals FRAC F A approximately FRAC one point eight five four four F D carrot two quad text RM kilogram force per millimeter carrot two where F is in KGF and D is in millimeters. The corresponding units of H V are then kilograms force per square millimeter kilogram force per square millimeter. To calculate Vickers hardness number using SI units one needs to convert the force applied from newtons to kilogram force by dividing by 9.80665 standard gravity. This leads to the following equation H V approximately equals 0.1891 F D 2 N per millimeter 2 Display style HV approximately 0.1891 frac F D carrot 2 quad text RM n per millimeter carrot 2, where F is in n and D is in millimeters. A common error is that the above formula to calculate the HV number does not result in a number with the unit newton per square millimeter n per square millimeter, but results directly in the Vickers hardness number, usually given without units, which is in fact kilograms force per square millimeter, kilogram force per square millimeter. 
To convert the Vickers hardness number to SI units the hardness number in kilograms force per square millimeter kilogram force per square millimeter has to be multiplied with the standard gravity 9.80665 to get the hardness in MPA n per square millimeter and furthermore divided by 1000 to get the hardness in GPA. Vickers hardness numbers are reported as XXXHVYY, e.g. 440HV30, or XXXHVYY, ZZ if duration of force differs from 10S to 15S, e.g. 440HV3020, where 440 is the hardness number, HV gives the hardness scale, Vickers. 30 indicates the load used in KGF. 20 indicates the loading time if it differs from 10 s to 15 s. Vickers values are generally independent of the test force, they will come out the same for 500 gf and 50 kg force, as long as the force is at least 200 gf. For thin samples, indentation depth can be an issue due to substrate effects. As a rule of thumb, the sample thickness should be kept greater than 2.5 times the indent diameter. Alternatively, indent depth can be calculated according to h equals d 2 2 tan theta 2 approximately equals d 7.0006 display style h equals frac d 2 sqrt 2 tan frac theta 2 approximately frac d 7 0006 Topic. Precautions When doing the hardness tests the minimum distance between indentations and the distance from the indentation to the edge of the specimen must be taken into account to avoid interaction between the work-hardened regions and effects of the edge. These minimum distances are different for ISO 6507-1 and ASTM E384 standards. Estimating tensile strength If HV is expressed in kilogram force per square millimeter then the tensile strength in MPA of the material can be approximated as sigma U approximately equals HV times C approximately equals HV, 0.3, where C is a constant determined by yield strength, Poisson's ratio, work hardening exponent and geometrical factors, usually ranging between 2 and 4. In other words, if HV is expressed in n per square millimeter i.e. in MPA then the tensile strength in MPA approximately equals HV, 3. However it should be noted this empirical law depends variably on the work hardening behavior of the material. Application <inaudible> 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 The fin attachment pins and sleeves in the Convair 580 airliner were specified by the aircraft manufacturer to be hardened to a Vickers hardness specification of 390HV5, the 5 meaning 5 kilopons. However, on the aircraft flying Partner Flight 394 the pins were later found to have been replaced with substandard parts, leading to rapid wear and finally loss of the aircraft. On examination, accident investigators found that the substandard pins had a hardness value of only some 200 to 230 HV5. Equals equals see also.